Well, it's about a kid who, who in the beginning of his, of his senior year, he finds out that he's, uh, he's got probably what is a terminal illness, and that instead of having the rest of his life to live, he's got a year to make his footprint. Um, I told the story for a couple of reasons. One is that I had been, almost all of my other books are, are told by smart alecky guys that just want to get out of school. Somebody asked me as I was getting out of, when I was a senior in high school, my, my, uh, my advisor asked me what I wanted out of high school, and I said, out of high school. And almost all of my, almost all of my characters had that same kind of, you know, attitude. And I, I started asking myself, what if I, what if I created a character who, um, who really needed to, wanted to make something out of that time? And I was having a hard time figuring out how to do that. And I, I remember working with a kid who had, had been diagnosed when he was much younger with a, a, a life-threatening and pretty aggressive form of leukemia. And it had been arrested, but he, his whole attitude was, this could be it. Anytime we decided the next thing you know, that he was going to decide to do, there was this urgency and importance. And I thought, wow, you know, one way to make life important is to make it short. <laughs> So I, I give this kid uh, a similar diagnosis at the beginning of his senior year. So now he's in this, he's in this spot where he's, he's got, you know, nine months to 12 months to make his, to make his mark. And all of a sudden, you know, at, 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 the, age of 18 year, at the age of 18 years old, he's got he's to make decisions that I have to make at 65. Yep. And this is it. So, I mean, it's just way too much fun to write then all of a sudden now I say I do the thing that you do with any character I say okay I've got I've got nine months of story he starts at the beginning of the school year and it's going to end at the end of the school year and then as a writer I decide okay what am I going to throw in his way I give him the diagnosis in the first in the first chapter and I remember I was seven pages in when I when I when I said it and, and I thought, I've given myself a gift that I've never had before, and that is, in, in, I'm seven pages in, and I know the end of the story. Which is what, I mean, I'm always looking at, okay, how's this going to end? And in, in many cases, that's a hard thing. I'll, I'll be eight or nine chapters into a story before I know what, what exactly yeah. I'm writing toward. I knew, it from, I knew it from seven pages in, and now all of a sudden, um, the speed of telling the story just just increased. I had a sports season to get him through, and I had a girlfriend, and I had some fairly interesting characters that he was going to run into, people really outside his imagination. And they were kids, you know, there were situations that I know from being a mental health guy and from being a teacher and, and all of those things. But I have the advantage of being old enough to, look, mm -hmm. you know, have those experiences and then throw them in mm -hmm. in, in the pathway of innocence. Called Period Eight, huh. and it's it's basically a group of kids who, uh, during lunch period, go into this teacher's room. Who he's one of those teachers that anything goes as long as it's safe, as long as we can keep each other safe with each other. We can talk about anything, we can explore anything, and you don't get credit for it. It's just lunchtime, you know. Bring your lunch, and and so the group of kids that are in there, you know, are, are real diverse in terms of ethnically diverse and. Um, just how they see things, just, you know, and it's, he tries to make it a challenging place. He, he wants it to be what he wants, what he would like education to be. And he's, he's my age, so he's, he's retiring, you know. Not as a favorite, you know, I, I mean, for, for different reasons. Um, Deadline, because of the amazing uh, response, I mean, some of the letters that have come back, both equally almost between adults and, and kids. Um, whale talk because it, it gets it gets banned for things that I'm so passionate about. Uh -huh. So I like the fight, and it's also probably the most complex of of stories. Um, Sarah Burns because it has you know the it has I mean that element of friendship under fire is another one that kids seem to well kids and adults we all did you know. Mm -hmm.